motion today at all. I didn't say it affected your motion. I think we have to have the facts. We do. We do. No, they're they're hard, hard to find around here, but we get them eventually. No, they're not hard to find at all if you ask the right questions. I have some questions, and the first is Councillor Parrish's from the September 26 meeting. Parish. That was a wonderful agreement we entered into. I'd love to know who got us into this one. And indeed, I have the same question. Number one, who were the Intersource Board of Directors uh, responsible for this 2000 agreement? Ariel? At the time of the 2000 agreement, that was the agreement that formed Intersource. Um, the information on the initial directors is not something that uh, I thought was an issue today, and I'll have to see if I've got it with me. from the Hydroelectric Commission consisted of Ron Starr, Ken Newton, Walter Sawa, and Mark Hall. And that was replaced with the uh, Intersource Board Directors who were appointed in December 2000. Um, the uh, agreement, oh sorry. Um, I'm talking about the April uh, 2000 agreement. December 2000 would be irrelevant, no? Well, the appointments were made December 19th, 2000, which was after the agreement was executed. I, I understand, but I'm, I'm interested in who were the board of, Enerser's board of directors responsible for this agreement, or so, the Mississauga Hydro or whatever. It was the shareholders. There was no board of directors until December 19th of 2000 when the first board of directors of Intersource was appointed. So nobody represented the city? The city was a shareholder. So the city was represented, yes. I didn't say it affected your motion. I think we have to have the facts. We do before. We do. No, they're hard to find around here, but we get them eventually. No, they're not hard to find at all if you ask the right questions. 